Link down below as always. Bug fixes and changes adjusted the displayed working width. The Grim Evo 290 and Ropa Kyler 2. Increased the Grim Evo 290 capacity to 12 meters to the power of 3. I forget what that means. <laughs> Fixed and improved mission availability. As well as bunker position of the Grime Evo 290 in work mode. Improved interior coloring on the John Deere vehicles. Fixed attacher joint on the Quickie Q3M. Give this video a thumbs down and you're going to have some issues with your joints being attached. Fixed yield increase on forage harvesters with silage additives. Lime heaps tipped onto the ground can now be steeper. Fixed license plate light visibility. While no license plate has been configured on some vehicles as well as AI with turned cabin on the class Zarian 5000 as well as the Zarian configuration and bailing contracts has been fixed. New addition, Class Liner 4900 Business, Class Zarian 5000 Anniversary Edition, Fend, Macy Ferguson Ideal MY23 updates, modding changes, added differential speed sound modifier, fixed the crawler translation offset XML attribute, as well as added the use of random Y rot XML attribute for the greenhouse plants, Fixed the loading of map hotspots with localized titles. Known issues. Demolish button not accessible with a controller slash keyboard. Speaking of the controller, I wish they would add the same options that we have on PC for the driving sensitivity, the dead zone, because the controlling of the vehicles, like the pickup truck predominantly with the controller on console, for me is pretty atrocious. Anyhow, that's it. You liked it? Thumbs up. Didn't like it? Thumbs down. I bend it in half. I twist it. Not a big deal. You want to subscribe? Great. If not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.